Hillcrest is uh, its family, its community. The heart of Hillcrest is Jesus. In a word, that's what we're all about here. But his prison, remember how we told I like my school because we're just a big family and we cheer each other on all the time. And we know that God loves us equally no matter what. Hillcrest Christian School is a preschool through high school. It is a Christian school, um, not just in the sense that we, um, the kids have Bible and learn about Christ, but we are a ministry to Christian families, so that's what makes us unique. For me, the heart of Hillcrest is really um, the essence of the relationships that are built here. Hillcrest is the place to come for laughter, for joy, to experience the presence of Jesus, and to serve and love other people. The staff and the teachers and the principal, their goal in everything is to glorify God and is to help their students have a relationship with God. This is not a job for us, it's, this is, this is our ministry. Like we get to preach into these children. That is a privilege. Uh, I'm visiting from Korea. My favorite part about the school is people. My favorite is computers and library and chapel. And in language, I'm learning um, subject nouns and possessive pronoun adjectives and helping verbs. We learned about snails and worms. <laughs> Right? Academically, we're very strong. We believe that if we're representing Christ in this community, we need to be excellent in all that we do. Our kids get into amazing colleges. That's really, I think, a testimony to the strong academic and challenging academic program. And I'm trying to decide between UCLA and UC Berkeley. Um, I want to do pre-med, and so I'll go in as a biology major. Pizza? Pizza. Pizza. Here we go. And cheese. Oh look, you can see the yeast, look. Oh my gosh. We're not just a prep school that's trying to make good citizens. We're a whole lot more than that. Uh, we, we operate and derive out of a whole different um, mindset than somebody that's just trying to educate well and make good moral men and women to send out into the community. One of the things that sets us apart here is that the teachers really care um, as much if not more about not only the students' academic progress but also the emotional and the spiritual investment uh, into the lives of the kids that we teach each day. As an educator, I love that God has uh, spoken and taught um, throughout the day in all subject areas. There's a freedom there. Um, I don't think our children um, know the privilege that they have and um, I love being a part of that. It was the very last supper, and they celebrated something. We have three chapels that happen on campus every week. We have a preschool chapel, we have an elementary chapel that's kindergarten through sixth grade, a secondary chapel that's middle school and high school. We learn about God and uh, get to know more about Him. Chapel, um, we've learned about um, Jesus' life, birth to the death. I think because the Lord is the center, the teachers pour out that love of Jesus the kids do and the families do as well. That's a reason to be at Hillcrest is because we as teachers know that God's presence is here and we can share that with our students. We have athletics that run from 5th grade uh, all the way through 12th grade. Girls volleyball, boys flag football, boys and girls basketball, uh, boys and girls soccer, and boys and girls golf. Tackle football in the fall, uh, cross country. We have boys and girls basketball in the winter. We have baseball, golf, and track and field in the spring. Athletics allow you to be part of a team. They allow you to use the abilities and blessings that God gave you. I played volleyball, which I never would have played at a public school because I came in as a freshman and I wasn't any good. Worked really hard and came back and was actually our captain the sophomore year. So I've been the captain of our varsity volleyball team um, sophomore, junior, and senior year 
and I've really loved it. I love volleyball. It's one of my most favorite things to do. The important thing for my husband and I was to find a place that would minister to all the needs of our kids because we've chosen to describe our kids as Christian student athletes and we have found that Hillcrest has that in the right perspective. Hillcrest is a special place. We've got lots of great special kids and um, we give everybody the opportunity to be part of something. We just are really blessed to have the opportunity to share all of that with the kids and help them to grow in, in their walk and um, their athletic prowess. Hillcrest is a small school and I feel like our fundraisers are even that much more important. I think the last couple of years the board's focus has been on improving the financial stability of the school. The school has now uh, improved very much with its, its financial foundation and we're now able to look forward to some of the projects that we've kind of dreamed about over the last four or five years. This fundraiser specifically um, is important in the stewardship of our building. The campus um, inside is filled with modern teaching and modern curriculum and computers and technology and I feel like the outside just needs to have that same reflection. One of my other responsibilities here is supervising the yearbook and this year we were inspired by one of the original photos of this property when it was a hospital back in the 60s and the 70s and so we thought it'd be cool to put that as the cover and as a follow-up we took another picture of the school as it stands today and it was interesting to see that not much has changed on the facade of the building and so a facelift for lack of a better term or updating for the building would do a lot. Even though uh, we know that what we do here is excellent regardless of what the the walls of the building looks like, it's also really important to feel good about the place that you're taking your children, um, to feel that not only is it a safe and loving environment, but it's, um, it's a beautiful environment. When you dress, you dress for success. And um, if you're gonna go on an interview or an important meeting, you wanna look um, the part. And I think it's important that our school has that same face that sends that message that we are excellent in every way. I think it's important to repair a school and keep it going because this school is really important to me and everybody here just loves it. Our teachers fund is, is, is important, I, probably more than important, it's critical for the school. Again, we're a nonprofit. there's not money flowing from all these different directions. Tuition for our school is relatively cheap when compared to other private schools and we really look for the fundraisers and the families to help us with the different uh, smaller needs that the teachers have in their classroom. To know that there's parents who want to contribute to a fund as a way of saying thank you is very humbling. We can't pay our teachers as much as they'd be able to make in public school um, and so to be able to have a fund where they would be blessed in different ways that the um, administration or the um, parent faculty organizations would want to just show their appreciation to them and have the money to be able to do that would be such a blessing and an encouragement to them. I love at Hillcrest that we are teaching our kids to serve their community and just as Christ told us to wash the feet of others just like he did, I feel like that is so important and I love that missions is so important. We raise money for uh, Uganda and we uh, worship God. The Community Foster Care Program here at Hillcrest started this year and it's um, geared towards our middle school high schoolers to reach out to the community of foster kids in the area. So groups of kids will be going into group homes and building relationships with them. One of the things that I'm most hopeful for as I take these girls um, and Coach Brandon takes the boys to these different group homes and events that not only do we teach our students what that looks like to be the hands and the feet of Christ, um, but just that ultimately we can impact those around us. The Lord's given us this school and we are called to be good stewards of what we have. 
and I think that raising money for the exterior of the school, interior of the school, the overall beautification of our campus, and to bless the teachers and to give to different organizations and partner with different organizations for our children is part of being a good steward. And I think that it is our responsibility as believers and our responsibility as parents to steward that and to teach our children to steward that.